Hey everyone, it's Marie. I'm back and I just did a video um, kind of explaining about my little uh, holiday collection that I have in store with Canvas Court Brands. And I'm going to be decorating one of those little stockings from the kit today. So um, with the kit you get two of these stockings. You get um, some clothespins, some um, ticking, you get some a few flowers and some ropes and some paint and I'm just gonna be putting some of these things together decorating the stocking just to give you a little inspiration of what you can do with the collection and I've also got a few other um, Christmas type embellishments that I had on hand that are not in included in the kit but that would be easily um, accessible um, at Walmart or anywhere um, that you could throw on the stocking too so I'm just gonna decorate this little stocking and um, really quick it's not going to be a really big um, process just to show you that you can do these quick and easy and they'll be great gifts or great decoration in your home. So I'm going to go ahead and grab some of this high impact Tattered Angels paints and this does come in the kit. You get a green and a red. I'm using the green today with this Brutus Monroe stencil and I'm just going to do a little polka dot, um, polka dot pattern here on this, on this stocking. I'm just using a little round brush and I'm going to take just a little bit of paint, not a whole lot, and I'm just going to sort of dab it on here. Now this canvas is pretty thick, so as long as you don't use a ton of paint, I don't think you need to worry about it bleeding through. But just to be sure, you could always put a piece of paper on the inside of your stocking so that if it does bleed, It'll bleed onto the paper and not through to the other side. But since I'm just using a little bit, it should just stay on the surface of the stocking. So I'm going to continue doing this until I have this whole area stenciled with these polka dots. So I have my stocking all stenciled here. I did not do the top because I'm going to be adding some embellishments. And I'm just going to show you what I have. It's super simple, super fast and easy. Um, I'm taking the green burlap flower that I, uh, comes with the collection. And I have a few bells here. Super easy to have. You might have some in your Christmas decorations already. I actually just picked up a huge pack of these at Walmart for a couple bucks. And then I tied some of this um, cord onto the bells. That's what comes in the kit. You get um, this big bundle of cord and you also get some red too. But I'm just kind of sticking with the neutral and the greens for this stocking here. So I've got about three of these little bells and I'm going to um, add those here. And then I've got a little button to put in the middle and a little piece of some festive type berries that I think I've probably pulled off a Christmas wreath or something in our Christmas box. So I'm kind of using a lot of items that are already found along with the items that are in the holiday collection box. So I mean this is something that you can put together quickly and easily. Um, I did want to show you that even though I did not put anything in between here, it did not um, it didn't bleed through. I mean, you can see kind of in the inside, but this canvas is so thick that the back, there's nothing bleeding through. So if it makes you a little uncomfortable, um, just stenciling without anything in the, in the middle to catch that paint, just go ahead and put a piece of paper or some fabric in there. But I found that mine was totally fine um, as long as I use like a light amount of paint. And I did speed up the drying process with a heat tool, so that's always an option as well if you're trying to work quickly. So I'm just going to take my heat gun, or my glue gun now, add some glue, and just glue on these embellishments. Alright, so that completes stocking number one. 
Um, I have a few more stockings that I will be decorating. I'll make videos for those as well, just so you can get sort of an idea of what is possible with these cute little stockings. I would actually love to take these stockings and fill them with goodies to give as gifts. I think that would be a really fantastic gift idea. They're just the right size um, to give as gifts, fill them with um, a baking mix or somebody's favorite candies or a bunch of toys give them to teachers give them to friends or just people that you care about um, so that's a really fun idea or just hang them in your home they look um, really fantastic as they are so hopefully you enjoyed this little stocking um, I'll be doing another one in the future and be watching my blog my social media because I am going to be giving away one of these kits to one of my followers so I'm working on the best way to give them away and I'll let you know so that you will have a chance to win your own um, stocking decorating um, holiday collection. So thank you so much for watching. If you are interested in this kit, it's in the Canvas Court brand shop already. I'll, I, I'll put a link down below that takes you right to that page. Um, and there's uh, some other holiday collections as well from some of the other crew members at Canvas Court brands. And some of them have um, paper crafting type things or home decor type things. Um, other crew people just put together some of their favorite things, so definitely check those out as well. But thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you next time. Bye!